Hello my lovely people, welcome to 2022, and more importantly, welcome to this very fun unboxing haul from some of my favorite luxury brands. Some of them you might have heard before, some of them might be new to you, but nonetheless, they're all very trendy brands and brands that I have you know, been a supporter of, and then some new brands that I am really excited to become a supporter of. So, let's get to it. First off, I want to say, I hope that the first couple of days of 2022 or the first week of 2022 has really just brought you so much happiness and positivity, brightness, lightness. If not a ton of joy, at least maybe some, you know, sense of peace, inner, just kind of, I don't even know what the word is, but just inner clarity, I think. And now let's get to unboxing some amazing items. You'll have to get ready because it is a fantastic pair of shoes. My ring just fell off. Yeah, my rings really need to get sized. This one fits and this one doesn't. This is the first time I'm seeing it. The other items that I'm gonna share in this video, I have seen and I have put on hangers, but this is the first thing that I ordered for 2022. They are shoes by the Attico. I kinda wanna unbox them nicely because I also wanna do an unboxing video for my TikTok, but we're gonna try, we'll do our best. Oh my gosh. It's not a color I wear a ton of. Even though I'm a colorful person, I don't have too much of this color, so you're gonna love it. Taking the bag out. Unboxing it nicely so I can rebox it. These are the lovely shoes. Now I'm gonna insert a clip of me wearing them here so you can see what they look like on. You know, first of all, the Attico heel, the classic Attico heel is this shape. You know, I was thinking be between three shoes. I knew I needed to order one. Mock and Mock, Amina Muadi, and the Attico. Those are the top three trending shoe brands, I think, of 2021 and are moving into 2022. So for me, it was like, I need to get one of these. Which one of these can I buy, you know, at a decent price that, um, you know, it's something that I can add to my collection that I don't have, and I don't have this color. I do have a pair of Fendi pink heels, which I'll put a picture of here, but they're not this neon. And I just thought this was perfect for fashion week. I think you could even wear like socks and sandals moment with this one. And yeah, again, it has a very nice structural heel. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of my last videos, I talked about how structural heels was going to be a trend. I, I talk too much about trends. More importantly, I think it's important to follow your gut and like what you like to wear and what suits you because not every trend will suit you, but it's really fun to know what the trends are and then see like which ones of those you can find for yourself or you can kind of turn into your own, I would say. I love it, you know, when I get a nice shoe bag because then I can travel well. But then I also said in my last packing video that I, ooh, take that back. When, after I like wear the heels a ton, the, soles get dirty, so then I don't like it when the shoe bags get dirty, so sometimes I just end up packing them in like plastic bags. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's what I do. Where did I get these from? Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, okay, I got them from Selfridges. So this is a hack. I feel like the international brands for someone living in the States, if you buy it from like a US-based company, say like a Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's or whatever, like they tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side. When I shop at Selfridges, I always find it at a lower price. So if there's like an item that I want, I will like obviously wishlist it on that app. Say I'm like shopping at Saks, right? And like I'll wishlist it on Saks, but then I will like search the item on Google and see if it's cheaper anywhere else. The brand, the Attico, this was like probably the best price that I found. Um, I think I got it at like 355. And for the Attico, that's I think really good because like I said, I was choosing between three, an Amina Muadi, um, Mak and Mak, and Attico. And Amina Muadi is like, I think the lowest you can get a new one for is like 560 or something like that. Mak and Mak, they're around 1,000. Um, and then the Attico, again, like normal prices are like around 5, 600, but this one was 355, so it's like, let's go. And I think it's a beautiful color too. Drop a comment below, what do you guys think? Let me know, because I, I like to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Next item. Oh, I did hang this one already, but this is a brand that I wear 
a ton of and if you follow me on instagram which by the way you should you will know that um this is nanushka it's a nanushka turtleneck and it has like the end here and the end here i did recently buy it but i put it on a hanger i'm trying to see if it's still yeah i still have the tags on i have it in extra small this is the patchwork upcycled organic here patchwork upcycled organic rib jersey in color black and white patchwork the price isn't here i'm gonna see if i can find it in my receipts on my phone this one i believe i got from Saks. Anushka Saks. Anyways, I'll figure it out. I'll put it right here. So yeah, a really nice turtleneck. I also feel like one of the things that I wore at New York Fashion Week two or three seasons ago, no, probably two or three years ago actually, was black and white. Similar to this, it was a dress by Wiley Zhang and it like went sort of street style viral, not really, but like kind of street style viral. And I think it looked really good on me, and so I really like the, you know, black and white half and half type of thing. I'll put a picture of that dress right here. This is gonna be like a classic, because you can honestly wear this with any colored pants, colored skirts. You can add so much color to a black and white, you know, piece. I need long sleeve things for fashion week, because it's cold as hell. First thing that I bought from this brand, but I've been like eyeing so many pieces from both Remain and Rotate Burger Christensen. This is from Remain Burger Christensen. It is just a really nice top. It's got such a beautiful like stretchy. Wow, I just pulled some of my hair out. Very nice. It's got such a really nice like stretchy fabric. It's really nice. Plus blue is my favorite color. This was also on sale and I was like, it's got blue, it's classic, and when I'm investing in a piece, the one thing I think about is how many other things in my wardrobe can I wear this with, and is this going to go out of style? If I'm going to spend more than like $100 on something, or even sometimes more than $50 on something, I need to make sure that I can wear it more than like once or twice, right? And so those are my two criteria, and this is something that I feel is not really going to go out of style, even if I was a 60-year-old grandma and if I was the same size, which I don't know, maybe hopefully I am, I don't know. Um, I could wear something like this, so I like that. Oh, this is the Joy Top, by the way. I had one more thing to share with you guys, but it hasn't come. It's from Totem. You'll figure it out. It'll be somewhere here. But that also was an amazing, 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 amazing purchase, and so I wanted to share that with you. So these are not your typical mainstream luxury brands, but some amazing luxury brands. Also, I want to show what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a shirt top from Beyond Yoga. My earrings are Chanel vintage earrings. These are from The Real Real. And then this necklace is by Eye Candy Los Angeles. Thank you for joining my first luxury haul of 2022. I almost can't even say it because it's so weird to think that.